Hello, I'm Connie Swinney with a Picayune News Break brought to you by thepicayunetv.com. After a decade and more than 7,000 miles, officials with Seton Healthcare have replaced the aging Seton Kids Caravan with a new mobile health care unit. The new RV is larger with more amenities to serve uninsured children. More than 100 supporters, staff, and donors attended a Valentine's Day unveiling of the new Seton Kids Caravan. The new healthcare unit is an upgrade meant to serve a growing number of patients. Our average um, uh, number of kids we see are around 2,000 children a year, so we're hoping to be able to e even grow that number and serve more children. The caravan travels weekly to elementary schools in Bertram, Burnett, Kingsland, and Marble Falls. There are families that do not have access to health care here. They, they have no insurance. Um, it's really the working poor families. They're working, but uh, they, they don't qualify for insurance. So this program really fills that gap. When the students are coming to school and they need the medical care and medical support, if they don't have the means to, to uh, cover those costs, uh, it makes the learning very difficult. They're not in a position to come to school. Uh, and not feel well, they need to be healthy and be able to learn. So it's really an advantage for all of us. Services include treatment for minor illnesses, immunizations, sports physicals, well child checks, and medications. Funding for Seton Caravan was provided by the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation, the annual Emory Ballard Spike Dykes Kids Caravan Golf Classic, and donors including Woody and Donna McCaslin's Children's Healthcare Endowment, Horseshoe Bay Associates, and the estate of Frank Fickett. For thepicayunetv.com, I'm Connie Swinney.